se murió la costumbre de siempre olvidar el amor y el aliento que alguien te da ya murió la mentira que siempre engaña y nació la esperanza de un día Everybody and welcome to D7R TV and today you join me outside. Why? Because I'm sick of the sight of the Sierra. Joking. No, it's to uh, say a thank you very much from the bottom of our hearts for us reaching our first 500 subscribers. 500? I didn't think it'd ever get that far. It was a bit of a piss around. Bit of fun. Seeing if I could make something work. Used to get like 10 views or something in about a week when I first started out. But I hung in there and uh, yeah, look at us now. We're flying. We've made it. Lamborghini landing soon. Not. Maybe eventually if we carry on the same trajectory. But from the bottom of my heart, I'm elated. And uh, it's no no thanks to me. It's all down to you guys. Something that started out as a bit of uh, me testing the water has turned into something that I take more serious and we'll continue to do so and you still don't tell me what you'd like to see in my videos we do our jobs but what would you like to see we need feedback i know nothing about algorithm or the way youtube works i'm literally a guy that pisses around with cars in my unit for customers i know nothing about the makeup of youtube instagram it not a clue, not the foggiest, but if you do, please DM me or write in the comments or something because I'd love to know and uh, be able to bring better content for you guys. 500, it's not a drop in, it's not a drop in the ocean, should I say. That's quite big for me and it means that I'm connecting better with you guys, but I see this as just the beginning and... Uh, I hope that you stay along for the ride and uh, we all grow together. Today is sort of a little bit of a special commemorative episode to celebrate the fact that we reached 500 subscribers. Thanks to you guys at home. But it's also something I've wanted to do for a while since we got rid of our last YouTube project car. Well, I say last, it wasn't mine, but it used to be mine. I decided that it was time to get another car. It was going to be an MX-5, but I'm quite frankly, apart from restoring them, as a car for myself, I'm pretty bored of them. So decided to uh, celebrate by getting this. Any guesses? So here she is, the new one. I haven't got a name for her yet. Usually I curse cars when I name them. So I'm gonna leave that up to you guys to uh, come up with a name in the comments or something. 
when I come up with a name, I usually curse the car. It's like the Midas touch, but instead of uh, getting gold, everything I touch turns to shit, unless it's a customer's car. Sometimes that happens, but my own cars definitely nothing ever seems to go well. But clear 172, pretty low mileage, very, very straight. Plastic windows. When I say stripped out, I mean like legit stripped out. There's like literally nothing in it. Front or rear. And that is too extreme for what I want. So I'll be documenting what I do to this car. I want it more of a, a club sport spec. But this car had such a spec. Whereas it's pretty much a Nürburgring weapon. So I'm going to put a little bit of interior in there. I like a bit. I like my music. So as you can see, it's got no stereo. It hasn't even got a glove box. There's not much plastic on the car. There's a fire extinguisher in the glove box. By the time I took the harnesses off, I probably would have uh, succumbed to my burns because I would probably would have burnt to death anyway. So it makes no odds to me. So that'll be coming out, going somewhere else, and then a glove box going in. So on the steering wheel, Mer brand new Merco bucket seat in the driver's side and a Cobra Monaco in the passenger seat. But I like Sabot in French cars. I've got my Sabot harnesses. I need my Sabot seat, which I've kept. So that'll be going in. It's got a roll cage. I don't know who it's by. Looks welding. I can't really complain about. So it's a good one. But I really wish it had harness bars in there. So this is sort of a show cage, but it's probably easy enough for me to knock another X frame up with some gussets and a YouTube stand for my phone or whatever, or, or a camera. Strut brace. Battery relocation, washer bottle relocation. I don't know why he reckoned it was to uh, distribute the weight, even though they don't weigh anything. Each to their own, I suppose. But the main thing was, this car is rust-free. And anyone with a Clio knows that these things are starting to succumb to rust. They used to be rare to rust, but they do get a lot of rust nowadays. And... Being a welder, I don't want to weld my own cars. I've said that multiple times. It's got some Oz, I think they're super legeras. It's on semi slicks. It's got a full uh, K Tech exhaust on there. Nothing wrong with K Tech, but I build an exhaust. I build exhaust myself, so it's detrimental having other people's parts when I make them parts myself. So I'll be uh, putting one of my exhausts on there. So yeah, little walk around video. Aero latches, CCF. Fiberglass bonnet, which always makes me laugh because Cleo's, you'll never ever find one without a dent in a bonnet. But then someone made a bonnet out of fiberglass and used a dented bumper, a uh, dented bonnet to make a mold off. Is what it is, easily to, easy to sort out, but I'll be getting this bonnet painted. Nothing too major in here. A few dress up bits. Original airbox with a K&N filter inside. I'll be getting rid of that and building my own induction kit. But one thing about this, it's got a hole in the front bumper. And I'm not about that life. And the rear bumper's been cut. I'm not about that life either. So I'll be uh, swapping the bumpers out and getting some new ones, some nice condition ones. But apart from that, the car is pretty much immaculate. I mean, I took it before this video for a good clean because it hasn't been used for a while. I know the uh, original owner, he's, uh, he's decided to have my Porsche. He's already got one, so it was better off going to him than it's sitting there with me. But yeah, this is what's up. There we have it. A little introduction to our new shop Clio build. I mean, it's been a long time coming. I haven't owned the old Clio Matilda for about a year even though it still felt like mine because it was still in the unit while it was being worked on and it only ever really hit home that it was actually gone when it was gone, back to the customer. So we've got some big plans for this. Engine wise, I don't know yet. Maybe what we did before, I don't know. This is raw, this car is pretty fast for a naturally aspirated Clio. It's 200 horsepower, it's been dynoed. It's got print out and stuff, so. Yeah, it's pretty lively anyway with uh, all the weight reduction and stuff, but 
as I said, we're going to turn into more of a club sport. So if I want to jump in it on a Sunday and go for a Sunday blast and blast some tunes and stuff, it's still a little bit nicer on the ears. I'll put a carpet in there, so it's it's a lot nicer. But yeah, please let me know what you think in the comments. Any ideas, what you'd like to see. Also a name. I'm leaving that up to you, but I ain't going to uh, make it a nice name. Maybe something French, but not French piece of shit baguette bastard or something. Because I'll just scroll past your comment. But either way, please like, share, subscribe. And uh, thanks again for the 500 subs. And uh, on to the next 500. Oh, P.S. YouTube money didn't buy this car. I haven't earned any yet. But keep them coming, guys. Like, share, subscribe, sub, all that. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.